Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and we're here to look at Star Trek Strange New World Season 1, Episode number 6. Um, the title of this particular episode is called Lifters Where Suffering Cannot Reach and uh, this is a sad episode. I think it was done really well. Um, there are a few flaws of course. Um, and that's not to do with the storyline per se, but there may be, uh, I mean, there's just a couple of things which I probably have not thought about. And overall, I think maybe, like, you know, there are things that you might actually try to do that could avoid this particular situation. But, uh, you know, overall, really, really good episode. Uh, we meet the Magellans. Uh, there's this planet called Magellus, they are not part of the uh, Federation. They are on, uh, you know, they are a little outside the uh, regular col uh, regular planets that the Federation is. Um, uh, usually the planets that are part of the Federation. Um, and, uh, you know, they are on their way to something else. However, they get a distress call and as per what uh, Captain Pike says, when you are... Uh, getting a distress call, it's the fact that you need to answer them. That's part of your duty as a Starfleet uh, officer or a Starfleet ship rather. So they do go to the aid. There are two small, smaller ships uh, and one small ship is battling the other, is, is fighting the other. The one that actually raised the, uh, the uh, distress call. Um, Pike tries to hail the, uh, the attacking ship and tells them, to, could you please stop? They've asked us for... Uh, you know, for the for our help, and uh, we don't want to. You know, we do, we don't want to come in between. This is not part of Starfleet. This is not part of the Federation. But yeah, we will definitely aid them. They start firing on the Enterprise, and then Enterprise decides to fire back. However, here is one of the odd flawed things over here. Uhura is doing her rotation of different uh, departments. Uh, sorry, I've got a little bit of a cold. And this time it's actually, or I think this week perhaps, she is with security. So she's under the direct supervision of Lan Union Singh, who, like her typical behavior, is a taskmaster. So she gives her the, the what do you call it? Since the, the ship doesn't actually, the attacking ship doesn't really face uh, too much of, it's not too much of a threat to the Enterprise. They are way more advanced than this tiny ship. She tells her, okay, you can do the uh, honors of knocking out their, uh, you know, their like weapons and all that stuff, but don't destroy them. So she tries to do it, but at that moment, the attacking ship shoots, uh, fires at the Enterprise, and that, excuse me, and that jolt meant uh, Uhura, uh, like, you know, misses her proper target. Uh, she basically gets the, uh, the she, attack, she uh, the firing line, uh, basically destroys part of the ship so it has to go and crash onto a planet and that's when uh, they realize that okay they made a boo-boo they go and look for the people who they seem to have beamed out uh, all right so the survivors the survivors the Magellan they are Magellan's people are uh, basically uh, how do you pronounce the name Minister Alora who is a leader of the Magellan Magellans and uh, on Magellan and she and Pike have met before so apparently, uh, many years ago, I think about 10 years ago or something, but he was still a lieutenant, he came to the aid of uh, her when uh, uh, like, you know, she had problems with her previous shuttle, apparently, and uh, they kind of hit it off, there's a little bit of flirtation and uh, things going on. Uh, Pike is unnaturally flustered, much to the, um, uh, you know, <laughs> much to the surprise as well as... Uh, uh, but yeah, much to the surprise of Una, and he even forgets her name a little bit, and she seems to be abused by it. Uh, much to her amusement, that's what I was like looking looking for. Anyway, so um, along with her, there is a a doctor. Um, I can't get his name, but played by this wonderful Indo-Canadian actor, uh, and I've seen him in uh, a television show previously called Saving Hope. Um, his name is Dave Escape me right now. Um, <laughs> Hussein Madhavji. I believe he's Gujarati uh, Canadian. 
Um, so he uh, was wonderful in uh, Saving Hope. And I think I've seen him in a couple of other things here and there. He was wonderful in this particular episode as well. The uh, Minister Alora is actually played by the lovely Lindy Booth. She has been in several television shows. Uh, both of these are Canadian actors who I've seen in many movies and Canadian TV shows. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, they both do a fantastic job. When you have good, good cast members and good guest ca guest star appearances, it really makes the episode. Uh, oh yeah, so he, uh, the father, who's also a doctor, has got a young child with him called, uh, played by Ian Ho, and he is named as the first servant. So basically, he is in this kind of, I wouldn't say religious. It's more like a, uh, it's more like a science oriented uh, utopian planet th that is Magellan and um, he has got this role which initially doesn't they don't say too much about it but he's basically the first servant and he's supposed to as ascend to that uh, to his for and there's a ceremony when, which basically ascends that is the first uh, you know like uh, warning sign that we actually have so he is slightly injured so they go and uh, fix him up there's a nice little thing of him and uh, the doctor, uh, Dr. Benga's daughter, Rukina, uh, who they actually, the, like, you know, she play, they play together because he finds out that there is, so he's a very smart kid, he even impresses Spock. So he finds that there is uh, somebody trapped in the transport, in the medical transport, uh, transporter buffer, and he lets her out so she can, they can play together. Uh, and Benga and the doctor talk about, you know, their, this planet has got advanced scientific um, especially in the medical, <coughs> excuse me, so they are they advance scientifically in the medical field. Their level of uh, science doesn't reach uh, that of the Federation at the moment. Sorry, is far superior to that of the Federation. Sorry, Federation's, uh, you know, medical uh, prowess doesn't uh, reach their levels. So they reach there, and um, in the meantime, <laughs> Spike and uh, Alora get it on. They have, uh, you know, they get, they have, they are very romantic with each other. There's, like I said, a lot of flirtation going on, but there's still something that's uh, a problematic case. So, in between, uh, what happens is, uh, and another another ship comes and attacks, uh, beams of the kid and uh, the father. Oh, sorry, yeah. And uh, beams of the kid from the Enterprise, and uh, looks like they're trying to make an escape. Um, and then the the uh, the ship is destroyed um, when they try to stop it. But the boy is actually beamed into one of the cargo containers um, in uh, on the Enterprise. This is very surprising. And uh, later we find out that it's his father who's actually planned to make him escape from there because of what's going to happen to the boy. And then that's when we find out what's going to happen. It 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 is a terrible ordeal that the boy will have to go through. It's a terrible uh, life that the boy has. Although he is cheered on when he goes for his celebration, he is um, lauded as, you know, kind of like the savior of their particular planet. There is a reason for this. So apparently the Magellans, they have had their ancestors create this huge uh, device, this huge, uh, uh, you know, thing that basically safeguards the planet. The planet is sitting on uh, lots of molten lava and stuff that will come up to the ground and destroy all of them and they're kind of like xenophobic to a certain extent they don't actually uh, leave their planet all that much they don't settle on other planets um, and so what happens is there's only a small group of people who have actually left and they have colonized a small planetoid somewhere else and they do not want to continue with the way of life of this particular uh, of the of the Magellans of the of the rest of the um, people of their planet because they are dependent they're very dependent on this particular system in which to protect themselves and make sure that everyone has the safe life they can all live out in peace and harmony and uh, they are basically safe from the uh, you know the elements of the planet is to have the ship run uh, sorry the system running. And this device needs a child. Uh, I'm trying to look for the details of it. Um, basically, this alien culture is kind of disturbing. Um, uh, 
they're basically plugged into this computer device kind of thingy and that will ensure that the the the, the child it, and it needs somebody of his his height his size it has to be somebody who's a child and therefore they're chosen well in advance when they reach a particular age he is put into the device and uh, when he is completely when he is when he dies they will replace him with another child so it takes uh, i don't know how long they i don't think they actually mentioned how long it actually takes but it takes several times several uh, I, th I think it takes a few years uh, also uh, when they go to the uh, when the boy is put into the device there's all these things that plug into him and he is going to be tortured he is going to face a lot of pain and in the uh, the the uh, the structure that is in is basically like something like a uh, like the old iron maiden devices not the rock man not the heavy metal man but the uh, but the, like you know the torture thing so he is going to uh, be drained um, finally they will become just a, a mummified little husk of things so they show uh, the husk of one of the or the dead body of the previous uh, first servant before they put uh, this boy into it and that's terrible to go through so uh, Pike wants to stop it. He tries to stop, but he's uh, overpowered by the guards. Um, Elora and he, uh, you know, have this thing. Once the boy is put inside, uh, there's nothing else he can do. So she, uh, when he says that I will report you, she says, we're not part of the Federation, so they, you don't have any jurisdiction over here. So there's nothing you can do. And he's got to now live with that, uh, you know. Uh, and of course, he leaves El Elora behind and he goes, oh, she's, she kind of says, like, you know, this is, and this is kind of like the Vulcan um, saying, um, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one, as uh, Kirk will say later on. Uh, that's kind of their principle. Like they, they feel like it's actually a great, great blessing and an honor to be chosen for this particular thing because your suffering and death, the, the thing draining you out of your, out of your life, is of your life basically, is going to ensure that the rest of the population get to live out peacefully and without any harm so in one way when you look at it it's you know the it's a very noble thing to do but it is also a very dark thing and this is why this episode is really good um, so a couple of things i didn't like but basically were about uhura and being having to do that particular thing you know ideally should have been lan stepping in she's a newbie she is not uh, enough trained enough for her for the particular role and uh, the other thing is, uh, and it also seems to be coming up, I saw the trailer, um, <laughs> I will mention that in the next episode because it, it, that particular flaw that I was talking about is there quite evident in the next uh, um, in the next episode I guess, because from what I got from the teaser trailer. So I will talk about that in the next episode, uh, in the next video basically, in the next review, because it's already 30, over 13 minutes right now and I want to end it. Uh, this is a really good episode. Except for a couple of the flaws. Oh yeah, and uh, at the end, uh, Hussein Madhavji's character, uh, the doctor, he is uh, he asks permission to be taken to the other to another colony of uh, where the uh, Magellans who disagree with the the uh, the planet's uh, choice. So he's going to be taken there, and he helps uh, in Benga for you know helping him with a little bit of tweaks that he can do to try and save his doctor. He says, "I can't." fix it for you but maybe I might be able to give you some ideas and you can take it further so that was at least some little bit of a hope thing uh, the kid did a fantastic job the two main uh, you know, guest stars in Lindy Booth and Hussein Madhavji did a fantastic job there's also another um, speaking of Indo-Canadians or the Indian contingent there's another character I, I couldn't get his name uh, but he is playing by sorry he's called Lieutenant Shankar in the uh, and he basically is the communication officer uh, instead of Uhura in this particular episode. So yeah, nice to see a couple of, you know, Indian represent, uh, well, I'll say Indian, it's, they're basically Indo-Canadians, but still nice to see them. So uh, rambled on quite a bit. Um, rating 8.5 out of 10, really wonderful episode. Uh, I'm really sad we only have four episodes left for the season, uh, but I bet they're going to be really good. Uh, so far, I've only had given one episode a 7.5, although a lot of people seem to like that episode. I didn't like it that much, but yeah. Anyway, let's stop it now. It's uh, 15 minutes almost. So, thank you guys. Have a good night.